Hello there! If you're here and watching this, you're joining me for episode 7 of my playthrough of Dead by Daylight. This one is subtitled Spark of Madness. It's what an early chapter from Dead by Daylight. One that came out way before I could start video it I could start making videos, so that's just why I'm making it now. And this one brought us two new original Dead by Daylight. A killer and a survivor in the form of the Doctor and Survivor Feng Min. I hope I pronounced that right. So we're gonna jump in, as always, with the Survivor first. And we're gonna have a look at the backstory and her three unique perks. So she's already preloaded up. Just gotta join the lobby. There we go. This is my Feng Min. And her backstory goes, Feng Min was a young girl when she first picked up computer games, and she was instantly hooked. Her parents saw no wrong with a few minutes in front of the screen, but as minutes turned into hours and sometimes days, they finally decided to pull the plug and force Feng Min to put more efforts into her studies. She felt smothered by her parents. So she left home and spent her time in internet cafes and LAN parties, where the old rules didn't apply. She spent hours playing, streaming, competing to rise to the top. In the gaming world, she finally found respect. Nicknamed the Shining Lion, she was invited to join a prestigious esports team, where she found a sanctuary free of the misconceptions and prejudice she had felt from her parents and the non-gaming world. Feng Min pushed her limits to prove she was the best. Sleep was less important to her than training. She pushed herself too far, slept too little, and her performance began to slip. She started to lose at night. She would stay up, tormented by the thought of disappointing her parents and her fans. She spiralled out of control and fell into a pattern of self-destruction. She started wandering the streets and visiting bars, waking up in places she didn't remember. One day, she woke up somewhere completely different. And these are her perks. The first one is Technician. You are apt at handling machinery with the greatest care and precision. The noises caused by your repairs and their hearing distance are reduced by 8 meters. On a failed repair skill check, the following effect happens. The generator explosion will be prevented. The generator loses progress as usual. An additional 5% progress is lost. Ouch. Life. After performing a rushed vault, break into a sprint at 100% of your normal running speed for a maximum of 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 60 seconds. Life cannot be used while exhausted. You do not recover from the exhausted status effect while running. Alert. Your acute senses are on high alert. When the killer performs a break action, the killer is revealed to you for 3 seconds. She's considered by the developers as an easy survivor. So, without further ado, let's search for the game and see if we can survive. Because if you haven't watched episodes, I think it was, did I say this was episode? Yeah, if you haven't watched episode six, the Left Behind chapter, I don't know if you even want to watch it. It was despicable. I was playing as Bill from Left 4 Dead and I got tunneled hard by the spirit. I cannot even describe literally how much I despise going up against the spirit. The spirit killer is horrible. One, I can never escape from her. Two, I always get tunneled by the spirit. And three, I can't play as the spirit. So when I do get around to 
the spirit video, it is not going to be pretty. It is going to be boring because I can't use her ta phasing ability to save my life. And I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because it's more about me showing off their backstories than it is about me actually winning the game. But I would like it if I wasn't tunnelled. You know? It's no fun. If I hadn't, as you know, stayed in the lobby to spectate the carnage that followed after my death, I wouldn't have had a video. It would have only been like, what, five minutes long? <sighs> oh well. You win some, you lose some, you get tunneled by some. Either way. I have got two characters to showcase in this episode. So, let's see if we can survive as Feng Min. And let's see if her perks can do us some justice, whereas Bill's did not. Hm. All right, Feng. Oh, hello. Hi. There might be some bones here. No, no bones. No totems. I do see a generator. And there's someone on this generator. Can I join in? So we, we have phenophobia. So we already know what one perk is. She's down. What? I didn't even hear it. Oh, there she is. Oh, I see totems. Always cleanse totems when you can. Because you never know if they're using Undying or Noed. Was that the killer? I have no idea who the killer is yet. Someone stealthy, maybe? Ghostface? I thought someone was on this Jenny, that's why I came up here. Oh, 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 hang on. That's the hag! Ah! We have a hag, do we? Very interesting. There, uh, she's over there breaking stuff. Oh, she's coming over my way. goes one to hex totem oh I see ya uh, 
So far, it doesn't look like she's using barbecue and chili. We must run. Oh no. I see the hag. What? All right, come on then. Oh fuck! No, no, no! Don't come on! Don't come on! No! I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, she really wants me. Where is she? Ah! Must find a generator! Oh, hello. Toolbox. That will come in handy. All right. So. I wonder which hex she was using. Oh, she's all the way over there. Ow. Ah, my leg is hurting. I've got cramp. I got cramp in my leg. Ah. to the basement! No! Ah, <coughs> oh, damn it! Why would you put a trap there? Ah, oh, really? They're gonna leave me? Ah. ah, I've got cramp in my leg, it's not good. Ah, oh, I knew it, I'm gonna get camped in the basement. I'm not, oh, guys, already left. Yep, this is the end for me. Oh, may as well try and Kobe. Oh, Kobe! 
Oh, come on! I got off! I got off! Really? Really? That is disrespectful! Come on! Check all the lockers you want, they're not there. I Kobe'd, I got off myself. That was horrible. I hate killers that do that. That's, that's basically just being a sore loser. Honest to God. Oh, at least I did my challenge. But really? I mean, seriously? I get died on first hook because I got camped in the basement. By a rank 8 killer. A rank 8 killer. Bird seal, phanatophobia, bamboozle, and enduring. Bloody ridiculous. Right. I hate that. I hate that. Every killer does that. Every killer I go against does that. If they can't kill you before all five generators are done, they will just hook you at the end and just camp in the basement. Camp in the basement or camp any hook. They will just stand by the hook and literally just wait for them to come and get you. It ain't gonna work. Ugh. Right, well, I've, I've done my I've done my level four challenge. There we go, done. Tome six is now complete, which means I can finally work on the current tome. If I can just go back onto the menu and select a new challenge. So, Tome 7, Forsaken. Alright, so, what have we got here? So, we got repair total of four generators. Um, oh, actually. I'm going to do that one. Try that one, because I'm going to be playing as a doctor. Okay. Enough of that. Let's play as a killer. Here we have the doctor. I'm currently wearing some naval uniform, which is... Cool, I like the blue. Okay, so. Right, first of all, let's start looking for the match because it takes forever to find a killer match. Alright, backstory. Showing exceptional aptitude in psychology, Herman was hand picked for special training in an advanced neuroscience program located in a secret black site facility in Illinois known as the Le Leary Memorial Institute. Really, a front for the CIA. This is where Herman met Dr. Otto Stamper, where, under his guidance, Herman began to use strange and ever-increasingly vicious methods to extract information from prisoners sent to the Institute, which was also a covert prison and re-education centre for whoever was the USA's current nemesis. His liberal use of violent electroshock therapy revealed dramatic results, and several threats to national security were uncovered. Over the years, Herman became known as the Doctor, and no one ever questioned if he had even held a medical certificate or even what happened to the prisoners after they had given up their information. It was only after the Leary Memorial Institute went silent for a week that the true hollow was finally discovered. The personnel, patients and prisoners were all found dead with all types of head trauma. All personnel and prisoners' bodies were accounted for including Dr. Otto Stamper, but no sign of Herman the Doctor Carter. Currently, he is a hard killer to play as. His perks, overwhelming presence. Your presence alone instills great fear. 
Survivors within your Terra Radius suffer from inefficiency. Affected survivors' item consumption rates are increased by 80%. Monitor and abuse. Meticulous in your approach, terrifying in your application. While in a chase, your Terra Radius is increased by 8 meters. Otherwise, your Terra Radius is decreased by 8 meters, and your field of view is increased by 3 degrees. Field of view gains do not stack. Overcharge. You are fueled by your hate for progress. Overcharge is generated by, by performing the damage generator action. The next survivor interacting with that generator is faced with a tremendously difficult skill check. Failing the skill check results in an additional 3% loss of progress, and succeeding the skill check grants no progress, but prevents the generator explosion. His power, Carter's Spark, successfully striking survivors with the Doctor's special abilities, Shock Therapy or Static Blast, Increases the survivor's madness, eventually afflicting them with the madness status effect and triggering increasingly potent effects. Madness rank 1 causes survivors to scream once, revealing their position to the doctor. Slightly affects skill check placement and direction. Madness rank 2 causes survivors to scream once and experience hallucinations in the form of an illusionary doctor. Moderately affects skill check placement and direction. And finally, Madness Rank 3 causes survivors to scream intermittently and experience hallucinations in the form of an illusionary doctor. Tremendously affects skill check placement and direction. The survivor cannot heal, repair, sabotage, unlock, cleanse or use items until they successfully snap out of it. When a survivor completes the snap out of it action, they return to Madness 1. Special ability, Shock Therapy. Press and hold the power button to perform shock therapy, unleashing a ranged shock attack on the ground in front of you. Survivors struck by shock therapy gain increased madness and any interactions they are performing are immediately interrupted. Shock therapy immediately negates the oblivious status effect. Special ability, static blast. Press and hold the active ability button to perform a static blast causing all survivors within the doctor's terror radius to scream and gain increased madness. Static Blast can only be activated when not on a cooldown, and Static Blast immediately negates the Oblivious status effect. That was a mouthful! So, let me just double check that I've got his perks on. So we've got Overcharge Rank 2, Monitor, monitor and Abuse Rank 2, and Overwhelming Presence Rank 1. Unfortunately, I've only got the Rank 1 version of it. Unless I use my Blood Points... Hmm. I could actually. Ew! Ew! Bless me. I might be able to increase the level while I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, there we go! One of the abuse rank 3. That's good. Nah, that failed. Look at that. And, uh. Bitter murmur. I don't want bitter murmur. No one wants bitter murmur. Let's go for that one and that one and then that one and then I always get like the offerings because they are better. Um, ah, <laughs> oh, can't buy any more. Do I have an offering to go to his personal map? I could use that, couldn't I? Ormond, Grandma's Cookbook, uh, Macmillan, The Last Mask, no, I don't have the Doctor's Map. Oh, that's a bit disappointing, I've got an Ebony Morley. Well, we don't want to use the Ebony Morley. So... I've got to hook five survivors in a single trial. I think I can do that. I can use the doctor's skill a little, the doctor's skill a little bit. That is if it will actually put us into a game. There 
right. So, we have Tome 4, complete. Tome 5. And we also have Tome 6 done. That's cool. So, it's just a waiting game now, guys. Unfortunately, I can't edit this bit out. If you really want me to, I can put an uh, I might put an annotation in to skip to the start of the game. Just one of those things in it. At least my cramp's gone. As soon as I died, I can't believe that though. I I Kobe'd off the hook. I love complaining. I'm like the biggest complainer at my place of work. Oh, here we go. We've got a game. Nice. <laughs> my rambling wins. Uh... Oh, we've got a Leon, a Jill, Claudette, and Nia. Nia sporting a... I've never seen that skirt. Okay. Leon's wearing his resident boar outfit, I believe that is. I'm not sure. I'd love to play Resident Evil. I've I've never actually played a Resident Evil game. No, sorry, tell a lie. I completed Resident Evil 2. Well, the re the remake of Resident Evil 2. Not the original. And I did attempt to play Resident Evil 1, and I suck so bad on it. I literally, I got to a point in the game where I literally couldn't throw things away, and I couldn't put anything in my back. I couldn't keep anything, and there was a key that I couldn't pick up because I couldn't, and it, I just, I just gave up. I gave up. I'm, I'll, I'll try it again. I'd love to go have a playthrough of uh, Resident Evil from zero all the way through to Village. Not sure if I'll do like the Revelations. I think they're called. Not sure if I'll do those ones though. Just the main titles. I mean, if you'd like to see me play them, just let me know. But if not, you know, I won't do it. I won't. I've got loads of games I can play. Loads of games. If you've already watched my first season, well, first series, which was uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, you'll know that uh, Xenoverse 2 is coming up, and I would love, I want to get that finished before the next DLC for that one comes out. So that'll, pop, that'll probably be my main focus, because Xenoverse 2 is still a game that's played mostly. So... I'm gonna do a uh, a playthrough of Xenoverse two after I've, after I finished up my daylight. But like I said, I will be doing I won't I won't just be doing these episode forms. I will be doing live streams if well when I get time to do them. Because unfortunately, I have to go to work, and I work twelve hours a day. So you can tell how much time I have to make these videos and why I don't have time to edit them. Okay. Oh, hang on. Did I just see someone? Well, that didn't last long.
the fuck did she get there so quickly? <laughs> oh, dead are they? Evasion. I heard her. Oh, what? <laughs> Is the basement here, by the way? No. Oh, that helped. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to tunnel, am I? What? How the fuck? These guys are smarter than I thought. Oh, that was good. Stop throwing pallets down!
broke that, didn't I? Hey, two got out. And I guess the other one's either waiting on the hatch or at the other door. Which is lovely. I don't mind. I got one. I got one. Let's see if I can get some more points in. Nah. They're not going to let me get more points. Oh well. I got one. Claudette. That Leon had me running around a bit, which is great. Always got to love having Leon. Uh, not Le having Leon. <laughs> always got to have a survivor that's always willing to run you around. That's great. My killer skills are rusty. But yeah. That was a doctor. Not my best killer. To be honest. I don't even know who my best killer is actually. I know my favourite killer to play as is Ghostface. But. We'll get to that eventually. Anyhow, that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Uh, subscribe for more videos if you do like these videos. Um, and future live streams as well. And let me know in the comments what other games you'd like to see me play in the future. But until then, it's bye from me. See ya!